Hello there, Chaz here, and I really need to get back to doing Stardew Valley, but uh, I took a little poke at a game that I picked up recently, which is uh, Shenzhen IO. I'm fairly sure I'm pronouncing that horribly wrong, but uh, you know, we'll see. Um, anyway, Shenzhen IO is a game by Zachtronics, who also created Space Cam, Infinifactory, and uh, TIS-100, which is a particular favorite of mine, because it's all about you know programming and stuff. And in fact, this kind of expands on TIS-100 by not only having you program things in assembly, but uh, building circuits as well. So you're essentially uh, making a circuit in assembly language. Or rather, you're making a circuit and you're programming microcontrollers with assembly language. And... So I got to the sandbox level, which basically lets you make whatever you want. And I've seen some pretty impressive stuff made by other players of the game. Uh, as for myself, my skills are not exactly perfect yet, but uh, I have this little LCD display, which is hooked up to a switch. And there are three microcontrollers. And if I push this... Holy crap! This works. So apparently Shenzhen IO allows you to... Uh, create uh, custom uh, LCD screens for uh, sandbox mode and I think this is my new favorite thing because you can make you can make little sandbox or pff, you can make little animations using uh, yeah using this whole thing so go ahead and turn it off it just basically pauses the animation wherever it was I'll reset this music's gonna come back on and you'll notice there are little numbers next to each part here. These are basically like the different sections or segments of the picture. And, uh, yeah. So, there's a little trick you can do as of the latest update to the game, where if you draw a line that is a very light grey, uh, you can use it to connect sections that you want to, like, say, appropriate. So I have one section for the eyes, one section for the blinking eyes, a uh, section for the mouth, a section for the rest of the face, and a section for each of these words. So we go back at the simulation. Um, I could go into explaining all this code here, but uh, basically all I'm doing is sending signals to the X bus, which is just like a, I don't know, it's like a multi, multi-number wire thing. I don't know. I have no idea how to say it. Um, in fact, let me reset that. Here we are. To add a custom screen to the sandbox, uh, the idea is you send positive values to the X boss to turn segments of the picture on, and then send negative values to turn the segments off. And there's an example. And this was the first attempt that I did, where basically I had a whole bunch of like spare lines and stuff like that. Ended up going up to like, what, 25? It's ridiculous. So this one's a lot tidier, and actually I drew it a little bit better as well. And uh... Yeah, holy crap, it works. So thank you for watching this little video, and I shall see you later. Probably back in Stardew Valley, hopefully. I need to make sure I'm not burning myself out in that game. <laughs> Alright, catch us later.